expert for the Today Show. Many of you have probably seen her there. She's also a best-selling author. And next month you have a new workout DVD coming out. I do, out. my first one. That's very exciting. Joy Bauer Slim Down. And it's doable, it's manageable, and if you want to be pushed, there's a harder version as well. Right. You were saying that it's got a, a cool down and a... a Warm up that everybody can do, but then you can kind of select the track that. Right. There's one 20 minute that's a little bit easier. It's for beginners to intermediates, and then there's another 20 minute workout that utilizes weights. It pushes people a little bit harder, and that's for um, I would say intermediates to advanced. That's great. If you really want to do the whole thing, you could do the warm up, the first 20 minute workout, the second 20 minute workout, and then the cool down. Nice. <laughs> the great thing about workout DVDs is that it's at home, so it's accessible. Yeah. And you don't have to worry about a gym membership fee, it's totally affordable. So yeah, and you can even do it in your pajamas, you can just pop sneakers on, and you could do it with your kids. Exactly, exactly. Well, Joy, I wanted to ask you what you think the current state of nutrition is right now. There's a lot going on in, you know, in this area. You know, people seem like they're really trying to learn more, and yet the obesity numbers still keep coming, coming up. So if there were like a state of the union for nutrition, where do you think we are right now? I think that we're in a pretty good place in terms of people being really interested and wanting information on healthy eating and healthy living and exercising, so that's great. Mm -hmm. I also think that people are sick and tired of extreme radical plans. Um, we're moving more towards clean, wholesome food in moderate amounts, which is great. And I also like to think that people are cooking more at home, um, having more family time, eating out a little bit less. I'm not against eating out, but I think everybody would benefit if they were in more control over the things that they were putting into their food. And of course, you know, that works well when you're at home. Right. You can control everything that's in it. Where is the, where is the biggest area that we need improvement still? I think that we need to mix the sugary beverages without a doubt. If people would just stop drinking so much soda and sugary fruit drinks, even fruit juice, you would save your body a boatload of straight sugar, right. which would be a beneficial thing. I think the other downfall for a lot of people is that we are so tired, we're overscheduled, we're exhausted, and we just don't feel like cooking, especially at the end of the day when it comes to dinner. Right. So we pick up the phone, we order in, we drive through fast food chains, and I always tell clients, if you can take out a piece of paper and jot down five simple, delicious, healthy recipes that you can whip up in a flash, like 10 minutes or less, and then always know that you have the ingredients on hand for at least two of those simple, healthy, delicious recipes, you will be so much better off. I mean, it could be so easy, something like a bowl of whole grain cereal with skim milk. You can do that for dinner, absolutely. You can make an egg white omelet, turkey burgers, turkey tacos, whole wheat penne with ground turkey meat sauce. There's so many things that you can literally make in under 15 minutes. You just have to know what they are, and of course you have to have the ingredients. Right. One of the things we do is we'll maybe once every couple months make a big like turkey lasagna and I go ahead and cut that up into individual servings and freeze it and then we just pull out. Which is such it's a like great idea. It's like homemade frozen yes. <laughs> Yeah, even with chilies. When I make um, turkey bean chili mm -hmm. at home, I'll double the recipe and then I'll portion it out into two cup servings and I'll freeze it in little containers right. and I'll date it and label what it is. And then this way, at the beginning of the day, you can take it out, you can defrost it, you can stick it in the fridge, you come home in the evening, and there it is ready to go. Yeah, absolutely. Um, what do you think some of the biggest myths are that dieters kind of fall prey to? Mm, so many. Um, I think that um, probably the biggest is that, you know, you have to be perfect. It's sort of like this all or nothing mentality. And you let one off moment, you know, one rich pasta dinner or one chocolate chip cookie throw you and then you end up eating into the oblivion. Mm -hmm. The most successful dieters that I've worked with, no matter how many times they tried to lose weight in the past and failed, the one thing that makes them prevail this time is they learn how to forgive their slip-ups. You know, so if you have an off moment, and everybody does, nutritionists included, mm -hmm just got to shake yourself off and you have to carry on and clean it out at the next meal mm -hmm. or at the next day. Right, absolutely. So kind of on the fun side, you get to hang out with some of with the Today Show cast, some of America's favorite people to wake up with in the morning. Um, what do you, what are kind of like the, where do the Today Show cast sway and uh, how do you, 
help them out. I mean, for the most part, I have to say, everybody, first off, everybody gets along so well, and they really are just as nice in person as you, they appear to be on the screen. That's good. Yeah, it's, it's a great place to work and, and a wonderful place to hang out at. Um, for the most part, they're really healthy. Mm -hmm. Everybody is very concerned about their health and about their weight, and they're very much so in the know. Um, and I'm around, <laughs> and I try to control whatever I can. They're always asking me questions, which is really nice, because they're interested, right. and they care. But we definitely have a mix, quite an assortment of things in the green room and right. in the kitchen pantry. We have lots of crudite. We have hummus. We have low-fat cheese. We have English muffins. We have peanut butter. Lots and lots of fresh fruit. We have cookies, we have donuts, we got a lot of crap too. Right, right. It's a little bit of everything. But again, it's, you know, it's moderation. If you have most of this, sometimes you can have that. Right, no, absolutely. And I will say, um, which is nice, the healthy food tends to go a little bit more quickly. I, I like to think that it's the guests that are eating the donuts <laughs> and the cookies <laughs> and the cakes. And of course, it's the staff, right? Right, right. Tends to load up on the crudite, don't you think? I would hope so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that's how it would be in our office, for sure. So on today's show, you do join Bauer Fit Club, which I think is incredibly inspiring. These are people who've lost 100 pounds or more. What is the commonality between the most successful stories you see? What's the one thing that they're all doing that really works? Um, that's a great question, and I think there are a lot of commonalities. The first and the most important piece is that their head is in the game. They have made a commitment to prevail this time. And it's not something superficial. It's something that's very, very meaningful. It's a significant and enduring source of personal motivation. And it could be something as simple as, you know, I want to be more comfortable in my skin finally, or I want to boost my energy so that I could play around on the floor with my kids or my grandkids. But for some people, they've had major health wake-up calls whether it be breast cancer or, you know, very high cholesterol and high triglycerides. I had one client who I worked with personally, and his doctor said to him, he was 38 years old, he had a heart attack, and his cardiologist said, lose weight or you're going to die. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously he lost well over 100 pounds. He is alive and kicking. Great. But having that can-do attitude, I think, is the most important thing for anybody who's trying to diet, because let's face it, losing weight is 50% attitude. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, Joy, thank you so much for speaking to us today. You can learn more about Joy and her nutrition program via books, DVD, and even an online weight loss program at joybauer.com. For Diets and Review.com, I'm Brandi Koski. Thanks.